Hi Virgo, welcome to your spirit messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for all the information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Oh, getting a scratchy throat, Virgo. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And uh, just a quick shout out to all those uh, new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you so much to everybody for all your support and helping with the channel's growth, getting the messages out that need to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see what we have for Virgo. What are your spirit messages? This can be from whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they are dated. I just date them so people know which order they were um, uploaded. But I do consider all the readings timeless. So this is what you need to know at this time from spirit. What do we have for Virgo? Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Okay, not every single part of this may be for you as it's a general collective reading. And there's tons of Virgo people out there. So, all right, Virgo. So I'm going to pull three from each Oracle deck. So if you want to skip ahead um, and choose not to watch the shuffling, that's totally fine. So let's get three messages for Virgo. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. All right, can we? Can you believe we're in November already? So I got a few more of these spirit messages to do for November, and then I'll be starting all the December readings all over again and decorating uh, for Christmas. Wow, okay. So let's get three from this deck for you, Virgo. What are the spirit messages for Virgo? What do you need to know at this time from spirit? All right, that one wanted to fly. I'm taking that one. Okay, two more for Virgo. What are the spirit messages for Virgo? I guess those are your messages I want to stick in my hand. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Spirit messages for Virgo. I always shuffle and cut the decks ahead of time, and I just do a little more shuffling on camera for fresh energy. Okay, got one, want two more. One more for Virgo. One more for Virgo, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. What do you want to tell Virgo? All right, Virgo, let's see what we have for you. Move that over there. We're gonna clarify with the tarot after. I pull about one tarot for each card. Kind of gives a little more uh, of a clearer message. So let's see what we have here. We have Talk to God. And we have 11 here, which is a very spiritual number also. It's like those gateways and pathways to um, your spirituality, your religion, whatever it is here for you. I feel some of you need to pray, meditate, reconnect with your spirituality, your faith, your religion. Uh, whatever it is for you, for divine support, guidance, um, in some way. So some of you need to reconnect there. Okay, so what do we have here? Fill the well. So this always tells me, and we have 25 here, 7, again, is a very divinely guided number. So fill the well is all about making sure your own well is fill, filled before you give to others because you can't give to others if your own well isn't filled. So you have to take care of you also. And this is also talking about helping others also in need. So if you feel like you're run down, you're not taking care of yourself, uh, you need to take care of yourself so that you can help others. And the fill the well is also about helping others. So I might read just a little snippet uh, in the book from that one. And then we have just laugh. So this is you know, being in a little bit of a lighter energy here. Just laugh, have a good time. Don't be so serious. Be lighthearted and fun and flirty and raise your vibration and you'll be much happier. 
14, 5. 5 is all about change. So changing your vibration, shifting your vibration into that lighter, fun, eerie kind of energy. If things are very serious right now or you're feeling like, you know, you're just serious all the time, I think Spirit wants you to know it's time to have some fun and just laugh. Laugh, laugh off the energy. I, I'm not talking about laughing in people's faces or laughing at people or anything like that, but sometimes you just need to kind of laugh and have a good time to kind of forget your worries or your troubles just for a little bit, just to shift and change the energy. Okay, so what do we have here? Imagine, what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? So this is don't be afraid to dream, imagine um, things, imagine things that you want, things that you're wishing and dreaming and hoping for. You know, imagine what it would be like to actually have it, for it to actually come true, and it just might come true. And then we have here, family culture, learn more about your family stories and history. So if some of you have been, have been de debating whether or not, say, to do a DNA test or get an ancestry uh, test done or something like that, or just finding out more about your lineage, your culture, your ancestors, and that sort of energy. This is probably telling you, um, if you've been thinking about it, to, um, to do it. So you can learn more about your ancestors and your culture. And we have healer. You have the power to help and heal others. So some of you may, if you've been questioning whether or not you are a healer or a light worker or something like that. Um, this is probably confirming to you that you probably do have that energy within you. Or you may be a natural um, problem resolver or healer or uh, you calm everybody or you, make pe you, you tend to make peace with those around you in discord or something like that. You might just have that natural ability about you, like a very calm, peaceful energy. Okay, be true to yourself. So um, that's very clear cut there. <laughs> be true to yourself. Don't be something you're not. Just to fit in or to appease others or whatever here. Just be yourself and be true to yourself. And don't be afraid to do that. Accept disappointments gracefully. So I don't know why I just got like sore loser. I don't know why I got that in my... Spirit gave me that message. I don't know why, but um, if you get a lot of remorse, regret, uh, like hateful feel, not hateful, but um, spiteful feelings and things like that, when things don't go your way or you don't get what you want or um, something's just very disappointing, uh, maybe you need to be more graceful about that and learn to accept them as a lesson or a blessing or just accept them, accept it for what it is. Just laugh it off. I don't know. <laughs> accept disappointments gracefully. Refine your attention. So this is all about um, what do you give? What do you need to give more attention to, and and what are you giving too much attention to that doesn't really need all that attention that you're giving it? So there may be something here that you need to pay more attention to that you're not. And you may be giving your attention to things that don't really need your attention. So, and also when you're doing something to try to stay focused on the task at hand and not to get distracted also is what I'm getting with that. So let's clarify some of these messages uh, for you to see what's going on. I'm trying to see if any of these correlate with one another. Um, a lot of different messages here. You may have healing um, in your lineage. If you don't know your ancestors or your just your lineage, you may want to, you know, if you do have those abilities, if you feel you're a light worker or a healer or something like that, you may want to look into your, um, like I said, ancestors, your lineage. There may be some things you don't know about your family culture that maybe, uh, you know, it runs in the family. You know, maybe your great, 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 great grandparents or grandmother, grandfather was a light worker, healer, medium, psychic, or something like that that you don't know about. So, okay, 
So let's see. Let's clarify these messages from Virgo. A lot of different messages here. You may need to refine your, your attention back on yourself. If you've been giving a lot lately and filling everybody else as well but your own, it's time to maybe refine your attention back onto yourself. So fill the well to me can go, um, it's, it's always about like giving back, but I also take it as to make sure that your own well is full and cared and nurtured for it before you stop filling everybody else as well. So let's see. So let's see what this talk to God is about. What is this talk to God about for Virgo? Spirit, please, can I clarify for Virgo? The Queen of Wands. So this is, Queen of Wands can be also somebody very intuitive. Um, doesn't have to be though. But the Queen of Wands is somebody that goes after what they want with a lot of drive, ambition, passion, go-getter kind of energy. They're very creative. Um, they can be very spiritual. So, yeah, it's, it's, some of you may need to reconnect, um, start praying or whatever you do for your faith, spirituality, religion. Um, I think that it will... Um, give you clear direction is what I'm getting because the queen of wands, they, they have clear direction. They know what they want to do. They go for it and they go after what they want. So I, I feel if you pray, meditate, whatever, get back in touch and tune with however you talk to, whoever you talk to will give you clear direction on how to move forward with that uh, dry fire and ambition. If you feel like you've been kind of stuck lately, so what is this fill the well about for Virgo? What is the fill the well about for Virgo? So the hang man. So this is about the hanging man taking a pause, taking a break, reflect, reflecting, seeing things in a different perspective, just hanging back. So yeah, if you've been like, because that's kind of still energy. So if you've been like on the go, 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 filling everybody else as well, exactly. It's time to take a pause, take a break, take a breather for you, fill your own well, take care of yourself and nurture yourself. All right, so what is just laugh about for Virgo? What is just laugh about for Virgo spirit, please? Wow, so we have the Ace of Wands. Wow, so this is a brand new beginning. Something creative, something, um, it could be a new project, endeavor, um, Exploring, going on a trip, going on vacation, traveling someplace you've never been. Very passionate, exciting, new beginning of some kind. It could be a new job. It could be um, something creative, like I said. So I, I feel like getting in this high vibration of being in, like, in a happy, joyous vibration will bring in this new beginning for you. I'm getting some of you may want to go into stand-up or comedy that is so weird because you almost see like this is could be like for one person out there you almost see it looks like a microphone so if somebody you some of you have been thinking about that or doing like an open mic night or i don't know something then go for it I think spirit wants you to go for it that might be like for one person out there and there is that one person out there leave me a comment let me know if that's for you all right, so, and I, I do feel that's about changing your vibration into a higher, happy, joyous vibration will bring in some sort of new beginning for you that either you've been waiting for or you've been wanting to try or venture into, or if it's not a new beginning, it can be a new project, endeavor, something here. All right, so what is imagine about? What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? So your wish or dream come true could be this new beginning over here. Hmm, okay. So what does this imagine about for Virgo? So we have the death card here. So this is about something ending, transformation, and then there's always something new that comes out of that. 
I, some of you wishing to um, end something, like something that you feel is no longer serving you, like a job or a relationship or something here. I don't know. For some of you, you're imagining what it would be like to end something that's no longer serving you and like changing um, your life in some way. The Spirit wants you to know that if you're thinking of doing that, then it's probably the best thing for you to do. Whatever, whatever it is you're imagining that you wish you could end or stop or leave or whatever. Yep, Spirit says, yep, if you feel like that change is necessary, then um, then maybe something you need to do. And it could correlate over here with this new beginning here. If you leave, you know, if you're thinking of leaving something no longer serving you or ending something no longer serving you, it may put you in a higher vibration and then you have this new beginning here. Whenever there's an ending, there's always a new beginning, which is that death energy, something ending and transforming into a new beginning. All right, so what is this family culture? Learn more about your family stories and history. The Empress. So you could have had in your lineage, lineage here somebody that might, may have been like a king or a queen or a prince or a princess or something like that. Or even um, somebody was famous or rich or owned like a very prominent um, business or something, even if it was years and years and years ago. Um, yeah, you might have had somebody that was this empress energy in your family culture that you're not even aware of. Wow. It may be like a great, great, great grandparent or something like that. Wow, okay. I'm getting, I'm seeing the three here, like three uh, generations, at least three generations back, at least. All right, so, and I'm talking about like maybe from like your grandmother, like three generations from your great grandparents. So that's, you know, quite a long, uh, generation. All right. So I feel like somebody very, very prominent in your family lineage ancestry that you're not even aware of. Like I said, it could be like a king or a queen or a, a prince or a princess or somebody of very high stature in your family culture. And you're probably going to be shocked to learn, oh my God, you know, we were, you know, related to this person. All right, so what is this healer about for Virgo, the world? So some of you may be deciding to go into, um, and this may be this ending over here. Maybe you're in a career that you feel like it's just dead. It's like it's, it's over. It's like you've been imagining what it would be like to leave this career, and maybe you want to go into into being some sort of healer. And if it's not a spiritual healer or in that realm, it could be, you know, being a doctor, a nurse or a surgeon or something like that. So this is cycles here, closing and new cycles starting. So some of you could be ending out something here that is no longer serving you and starting a whole new cycle, a whole new world into something new. And it could be in healing like I said, doctor, surgeon, nurse, something here in the medical field, or it could be in the spiritual field. Wow. Because you see, it's like a very spiritual card to me. So some of you may um, go out into the spiritual world. Spiritual world. Wow. <laughs> I just said world and realized this card did say the world. So if some of you have been thinking about that, I think spirit wants you to know that's probably the right path for you. That whatever you need to end over here, you need to end. And it would be for your highest good. And we got spiritual energy over here too with talk to God. And the Queen of Wands going after that with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition. And if you do, if you are going into the spiritual world realm, 
and you're helping other people, helping to heal, this and that, and you're filling their wells, the hangman. So, so always remember to take time for yourself and to fill your own well also, and not just everybody else's. Wow. So now I could kind of see them correlating all together. And you may even have healers in your in your ancestry, your lineage, or somebody very prominent. Like you could, like, oh my God, I was related to Thomas Jefferson or Mary Magdalene, or I don't know, something like that. And that sounds crazy, but hey, you never know. All right, so what is this? And I feel like with the tr be true to yourself here is if you are somebody who is spiritual, but you hide it from people because you you think that, oh, they're going to think I'm crazy or whatever. Be true to yourself. Okay, so who cares what other people think? When I started doing this, I'm like, you know, I still work a nine to five job. I'm like, you know, people are going to think I'm crazy. No, I don't care. I really don't care. All right, so what does this be true to yourself about for Virgo? So we got the hermit, right? Exactly. So <laughs> that just clarifies exactly what I just said. And this is your card, Virgo. So this is about, you know, keeping to yourself, the hermit. What does the hermit do? They keep to themselves. So if you've been keeping to yourself and you're not been shining your light and showing your true self, and just been kind of like keeping to yourself, it's time now just to be who you truly are. All right, so, wow. So Spirit just confirmed everything I just said. So accept appointments, appointments. <laughs> Disappointments gracefully. What is that about for Virgo? Yeah, the Queen of Swords here can be um, kind of a cold energy you know, this can be, you know, truth, clarity, um, speaking up for yourself, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is kind of energy. So, yeah, if you, this could be, like I said, like a cold energy. So if you don't take disappointments good, <laughs> like you take them in this queen of swords, like cold, cutting energy, spirit wants you to know um, that you may need to try to work on that. <laughs> And not be so um, harsh and cold about it for some of you. Just telling you what spirit's telling me to tell you. So it's time to be a little more graceful and not so much in that cold queen of swords energy for some of you. King or queen, doesn't matter. All right, so what does this refine your attention about? Yeah, so we have the knight, knight of coins. So this could be about work. Um, if not, the Knight of Coins here goes, um, is action, <clears throat> but it's a very slow moving, um, knight. They're very practical, smart. Uh, they're about stability, growth, expansion, uh, making very wise, calculated decisions, making sure they're very balanced. So this is telling you to make sure to refine your attention to whatever you're planning or doing here. Uh, whether it's work, finances, career, whatever here, to really make sure you're being very practical, you're um, planning wisely, you're taking a very practical approach, you know all the facts, you're moving forward very carefully, and not just, just to move forward like kind of recklessly or foolishly, just to make sure you're giving everything your full attention and you're taking wise steps moving forward will lead to stability and abundance and growth expansion with the uh, coin energy. So before I go over the bottom of the deck, Virgo, I would like to say if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you do subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a spirit messages reading. I do a love connection reading. If you have a connection with somebody, if you're single, I do a singles reading who's coming towards you. And I also do a general um, tarot forecast for the month, which is more of a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you. So we have the Knight of Swords. No, the Two of Swords here. So this can be about um, indecision and decisiveness. So you may be, you know, a lot of the messages here indecisive about some of these things here. 
but this is about needing to make a decision but not really wa wanting to so there may be decisions here you just may need to have to make even though you don't want to the knight of cups so moving forward with um love ambition um peace harmony compassion energy the fool so taking that leap of faith so whatever here you're wanting to take a leap of faith in spirit wants you to know take that leap trust everything will be fine everything will work out good you can start reset at zero and just jump right in faith so here we have again with talk to god here and now faith which is the hierophant faith spirituality religion whatever it is for you trusting in your spirituality in your faith trusting in that and being committed to that on in this journey whatever it is for you yep and taking that leap of faith will enable you to move forward with a lot of love um, compassion peace harmony being very loving caring nurturing giving and you know you need to make some decisions here that you're indecisive about i feel virgo okay virgo those are your messages and i hope some of them resonated for you and good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light